Hey guys, welcome back to Red Acre Homestead. Trevor here, checking in on the baby ducks, day four. Just got them, their pen cleaned out, their brooder cleaned out, got them some fresh food and water. Um, something I wanted to, a piece of advice I wanted to give you guys. Um, you know, before you, before, you know, this is now nice and clean now and they're attacking the water, they're attacking the food, which is great, that's what we want. Uh, something I would recommend, you know, something I did, I came out here pretty early this morning and I gave them uh, some fresh water. They still had plenty of food left over from the night before, but I gave them some fresh water. They were completely out of water, uh, even though I filled it up at about 10.30 or 11 o'clock last night before going to bed. And, you know, they come out, they attack it, they splash a lot. Um, I don't know, you can probably see some of the little droplets on some of them, uh, collect, kind of collects on their backs and on their heads. One of the things they like to do is they'll, one, they'll, you know, obviously they're drinking the water. Two, they'll stick their heads in and, and try to submerge their heads. Uh, and then a third thing they'll do is they'll kind of come up and they'll, you'll see them shake their heads and you'll kind of see them flip their heads back. And, and one of the things they're doing, uh, they're getting food in their, in their bills and they're coming over here and getting water and the food, and the water softens the food, makes it a little easier for them to chew. But another thing they like to do is they kind of like to splash the water because, you know, instinctively, they know they're supposed to be wet. They're supposed to get water on them. Uh, they know they're water foul instinctively. Um, but I don't want them, you know, obviously they can't, I don't want them getting soaked yet. They all have those down feathers. That's one of the easiest ways for a, a duckling to die is to get wet and cold and get chilled. Um, so that's why those, I have those, those are actually feeders right there set up as waterers. Um, so they can't get in the water itself. But um, one of the things I would do because they will they will attack the water when it's fresh which is like I said that's great they know it, they can tell it's fresh um, and so especially if they've gone you know for a while without any like they, I don't know how long they've been without water last night um, but and so they'll make a mess you know and even though I've got that catchment there that cat that call that was almost full uh, this this morning when I emptied it, but what I did is I came out here before I cleaned out this brooder. I gave them fresh water, you know, filled the filled the waters up. Uh, like I said, they had some fresh food. I kind of took it and I just kind of grabbed that and just took it outside and, and just shook it a little bit to get some of the the wet food off the top and just let them have that for just a few minutes. I probably went inside for half an hour, uh, came back. They had kind of calmed down. We're just sort of relaxing over there on that end and so I said okay great so I picked them up moved them to another container and left them in there put the moved moved that brooding lamp to the other container raised raised that one up it's attached to that motorcycle strap so I raised it up and then went and cleaned out their um, cleaned out their brooder and what I did this their 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 poop is extremely valuable on a homestead if you're um, I mean, you're, it's free fertilizer. So I took it where I actually took it, used the mess, still working on the tractor B, or as the wife calls it, the mini coop. And I actually took it right over there to that pomegranate. And that's it right there. I just dumped it out over there, kind of kicked it around a little bit. And you can see how much it's raining here. I mean, that water is pretty deep. And it's flowing pretty fast. So that's just going to wash all that down here, get into, the, get into that pomegranate where that autumn olive is, get into all this soil right in here and even all the way down. And um, so that's great and I'll, you know, I'll continue to do that. I'll do that around all of these fruit trees. We'll take a tour one day pretty soon at all the fruit trees that we've got here on the property. Uh, there's some around front, but I'll, I'll just do that. And then um, I'll eventually, actually the first time I emptied it out, um, I put it, I put, put it all in that, in that, that's a compost bin. Put it in the compost bin i put a little in the garden beds right there so it's free fertilizer guys i mean if you're throwing it away well i guess you're probably just throwing it on the ground but make use of it you know put it in the garden put it in the compost put it around your 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 fruit trees or in their flower beds even i mean um it's it's just free compost free fertilizer so anyway these guys got cleaned up but that's something i would highly recommend doing is what i did and that's giving them fresh food and water, you know, just a little bit, not, not feeding them for the day, but giving them a little fresh food and water 
before you empty that out because they're going to make a mess. And so you'd rather them go ahead and make the mess on the old litter. They're going to make a mess anyway, even even after even after you do that. But whenever that food and water is fresh, they know it, and especially early in the morning, if they've gone without fresh stuff overnight, they attack it and they make a huge mess for first thing in the morning. So if you change that out and then put fresh food and water in there, they're gonna get it. They're gonna make it really messy right off the bat. Um, so you save yourself a little trouble. It's not a it's not a world of difference if you do it the other way. Uh, you, it's not you know it's not a big problem, but I just advise doing it doing it that way. Thanks guys for checking us out, Red Acre Homestead. Subscribe. Uh, there'll be at the end screen. There'll be a little button you can subscribe to us, like the video, comment. Um, and check out our playlist, Duck Days on the Homestead. Check it out. Check out our other videos. We got more coming. We'll do probably one a day or so, every or at least probably every other day. We may do two on some days, depending on how things happen. But we're gonna have plenty of videos coming coming your way as these ducks grow and and we learn learn about them and they learn about the homestead and uh, as we as they we incorporate them into our homestead. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. Trevor with Red Acres Homestead out.